This is Red Beard, and on this adventure, I review 13,000 miles of being on the dark side. You don't know the power of the dark side. So it's been 13,000 miles since my last dark side review. That's right, 13,000 miles. I have a total of 14,000 miles on this car tire now. Uh, Chris Caliente got about 20,000 miles before he changed his tire. He was running at around 50, 51 pounds of pressure. Uh, I'm running at 41 pounds of pressure. Uh, I recently checked my uh, tread depth and I'm looking at around five millimeters. Uh, it looks like it's pretty even wear at 41 PSI. Uh, so I'm excited about that. Uh, I'm a little disappointed I'm at five millimeters now. I kind of expected to have a little more tread left, uh, but I'll keep an eye on it as I go forward, uh, see what I'm looking like at 20,000 miles. So there's a lot of comments on how the handling is on the dark side tire. Uh, but my first video, I was really excited about how planted it was. And that's planted. That is awesome. I like that. Especially anything grooved. Uh, and then at a thousand miles, I haven't ridden on much grooved pavement. At this point, I have. You ride cross country from Portland, Oregon to Atlanta, Georgia, and you're going to come across some grooved concrete. There's a lot of grooved concrete in Atlanta. I encountered a, a lot in Idaho uh, and a lot along the way in between. Don't really notice the grooved pavement. Uh, concrete's just, just not a problem anymore. Uh, one time I did have a bit of a problem is a, a fairly sharp turn on a interstate. And uh, as I'm turning and leaning the bike in this grooved concrete, I, I could feel it. So not the only time I could really feel any uh, grooved concrete with that car tire. So how have I put on another 13,000 miles? Well, uh, 3,000 miles of that was cross country. Uh, you can check out uh, Moto Vlogs that I had on that, link below. This is Redbeard, and on this adventure, I talk about day three and day four of my ride to Georgia. Uh, some recent rides I've did at uh, Chirahala Skyway, Tower of the Dragon, um, Foothills Parkway, uh, Diamondback. So I've done some famous motorcycle riding uh, as well as just your, your grinding out across country. Uh, I've done a lot of commuting back and forth to work, uh, ride up uh, Highway 60 north of Dahlonega. Redbeard says, don't eat a big meal before Highway 60. A lot of riding around Oregon. So 13,000 miles is some pretty significant riding, especially when you consider most people don't put but a thousand miles on their bike. Now I would say if you're only doing a thousand miles on your bike a year, don't worry about a car tire. The tire is going to last you long enough. Um, with that, that kind of mileage, you're going to want to change your tire every few years rather than uh, when you when you wear it out. So that's something to consider. I'm not saying dark siding is for everyone, and this video is not necessarily for everyone. This video is for people who are interested in dark siding. If you're against it for whatever reason, don't do it. There's no sense in dark siding if you are not interested in doing it. If you think it's unsafe or any of these other things, don't do it. If you're curious about it, then watch these videos. I have some good videos. Chris Caliente has some good videos. There's some good videos out there on how to dark side and why we like it. I'll post some links to Chris Caliente's videos as well. Check those out. Yeah, I had considered dark siding before Chris Caliente's videos, uh, but watching him and what he did and what he experienced really pushed me over the edge. And that's how I, I started dark siding. He had a particular tire, I investigated that, and the uh, rest is history. 14,000 miles of history. Also, in my last dark siding video, I mentioned peg scraping. I'm still not a huge fan of peg scraping, again, because you're, you're at the end of your lean angle. Uh, or we'll say on the dragon, I kind of make an exception there, because as soon as you're scraping pegs on one side, you got to flip over and scrape pegs on the other side. So I did a good bit of peg scraping on the dragon. Uh, it was a great time. Uh, the weather was very cooperative this time, as opposed to last time. So I had dry pavement, uh, the traffic wasn't that bad yet, we went fairly early, um, so I, I guess that was the trick. I've seen lots of videos where there's just constant bikes. Wet pavement doesn't bother me, assuming it's not uh, fresh rain, it just doesn't bother me though. I know that car tires got me, I've got Elite 4 on the front, working just fine too. 
So the rubber on the on the gold wing is, is working really well. Quick update on my TPMS. I, I still haven't got it uh, reinstalled. Uh, so my light is on on the dash. Uh, if you've watched some of my videos, you've probably seen that light there still. I have found that uh, somebody in the GWRA Georgia chapter B, my new chapter, um, somebody there does have uh, the tools to change my tire out so I can add that TPMS sensor. At this point, I, I may not be too worried about it until I get around 20,000 miles if my tire is worn. Uh, down to about three millimeters at that point. I'll change it out. Uh, in the meantime, I just keep checking the air pressure. Uh, so a public service announcement. Check your air pressure regularly. If you want those tires to last, you want uh, the best ride you can get, keep the right air pressure. like best. Still pretty much the longevity and the groove pavement, especially coming across country with all that concrete. Um, wasn't bothering me at all. I look down and see the grooves and I go, Wow, the bike doesn't notice them. So again, I have some uh, links down below in the description. Uh, I can point you to some other videos, some of mine, some of Chris Caliente's, on more information on dark siding. Uh, now that I've got uh, 14,000 miles, Chris Caliente's got some more. There's some other people out there on some Facebook groups that have <laughs> hundreds of thousands of miles dark siding. Again, they've been doing this basically since they started using motorcycles. So nothing new to using a car tire, uh, but it is a, a little different and scary for a lot of people. Um, so if, you, if you're interested in doing it, I say just take the leap, try it out. Uh, again, if you're not interested in doing it and you think it's stupid for people to do, don't do it. And no one's forcing you to dark side. This is just for, again, this is just for those people who are considering trying it I want a little more information. So this is Redbeard. Until my next adventure, see you on the road. Uh, so that's good. And some maybe. Mm -hmm.